Mario and Budweiser, this Bud's for you, presents 10 rounds, super middleweights. Your referee for this event, from New York City, Jim Santa. Introducing... Ladies and gentlemen, we went over the rules in the locker room. Just listen to my commands and let's have a good clean fight. Touch gloves. Right of Adrian Stone. Stone describes... Oh! with the left, Adrian Stone catches Skipper Kelp. Stone, who has knocked out eight of his last nine, is on a tear. He does. And now he's finally landing. Sooner or later, those punches are going to through. Two. Oh, and the referee, Jim Sander, said enough of that. I'm giving you a standing eight. Kelp says I'm fine. That's a part of whatever the strategy is. You know what, James Sander said, you're fine, you fight. Right? Big defense. Sandra taking control, getting in there. Oh, oh, oh. Stone Cold! I haven't seen any championship fights that have looked like this. Oh, oh Stone goes down with 30 seconds left in the Three. fight. He says he's six, okay. seven, eight. Where are you? Okay, stay there. Oh, what? Guys, count down once. Yeah. Good evening, gentlemen. We went over the rules in the locker room. Listen to my commands at all times, and let's have a good fight. Touch gloves. Too many opportunities. And Williams, just as we come to the end of the second round, gets dropped down, and he's getting up very slow and very wobbly. Jim Santa taking a very close look. He knows it's the end of the round. That bell should have rang by now. Over. Yeah. Boxing superiority has never figured into the rules with the same weight of a knockdown which rewards the power puncher. Jimmy Santa warning Razai Bramble for headbutting. And he does. You can see him come in very low with his hand by Kolesko. He's got to watch now. He doesn't get caught with a counter though, but he's jumping right on him. Paint leaning against the ropes. That is a knockdown and it stops. Jim Santa has stopped it about it. I like Jim Fan. I think he's a good ref, but that was a little bit quick there. I know he stumbled after after he initially gave him the eight count. Play from David Telesco, who really came out and controlled this fight. Came out and controlled this fight. No, he did what he had to do, especially early. Put pressure on, established control, and when he had a chance there, he jumped right on the guy. David Telesco comes up with the victory, stopping Frank Kate in round four. Holy sick. Stay there. It's the last warning. Let's go. So already, referee Jim Santos says to Mario Coley, that's the last warning for holding. Busy first round for referee Jim Santa. That's a hard shot. And Coley attempts to tackle Ruiz. Santa says professional. Be professional, he's telling him. Don't tackle him, punch him. Down in a predictable rhythm. Cauley ought to be able to time that right hand, but it's, that's the last thing on his mind. One, uh, that's, that's enough. Jim Santa takes responsibility. Well, Whitaker said to the referee after that clinch, watch his head, watch his head. The referee said, Pernell, just fight. Jim Santa, former Maryland Terrapin football player who now lives in New York, saying, I'll do the refereeing here, Pete. That's your home, fellas. Oh, no, no. Let's go. Come on, let's go. That's all right, let's go. That left hand by Whitaker, well after the bell. Luis Acari's jumping into the ring to yell at Jim Santa. And Santa takes over. Let's go, come on. Let's get your head in the ring. Let's go, come on. side of the rope. Santa told Pestra I have to keep fighting. But he seemed to be playing there. What was he doing in that? On the rope. Hard to figure. Hey, 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 
Let's see what was called a knockdown here. I don't know. <laughs> Does that look like a knockdown to you? It's a technical knockdown because Purnell, for whatever reason, bent himself between the ropes and left. Through Santa's mind. I think he believed that Whitaker went into the ropes intentionally and that he ruled a knockdown because Whitaker was intentionally putting himself between the ropes and wouldn't follow his order to get out. Uh -huh. There's a quick jab by Mercado. Second round scheduled for eight. And down goes to Gundo Mercado as Michael Dale nails him. And he is not getting up. What a turnaround for the first meeting between these two fighters. Look. Doesn't look like he's on his foot, Gil. Doesn't look that way to me. It looked to me like a good solid left hook high on the head. Brown banged into the body. That was a slip. Definitely a slip to Randy. Definitely a slip to Randy. Tried to get off the ropes. There's a lot of perspiration on the ring apron. And it is no knockdown. That quickly indicated by referee Jim Santa. He's the night of Tyson's face. Now a warning. First body punched by Brown and it was low. It was indeed. And a warning from the referee. That's Jimmy Santa. So from New York is Jim Santa. Good evening, gentlemen. We went over the, all the rules in the locker room. I'm here to protect you. Listen to me at all times. Let's touch gloves and have a good, clean fight. Let's go. Touch gloves. Let's go. Come on. There you go. Let's go. Bad blood. These two guys don't like each other. Roy Jones has his hand cuffed under there. And referee Jim Santa just pulling the two fighters apart. No warning on either side. Jones thought he was being held. You heard George Foreman say, no, no, Roy was doing the holding. Five Wait around on Roy Jones. Five seconds. Five seconds. Two seconds. Done. Good job. Woo. Body shot. And Duvall beginning to ask referee Jim Santa for a little help against the body shots. And you heard Santa say, no, it was right there. How to try to wipe a wet spot in the ring. So yeah, Santa was going to do Holyfield Doc and Wande before that cancellation. Let's go. Therefore, it's appropriate that he gets to do the next big fight here in New York, and this is it. Good left hand by Deval. Never before knocked down. Roy Jones cleanly knocked down on a straight left by Lou Deval. That's the hardest punch I've ever seen Roy Jones take. Deval is desperate. Trying to make something happen, as we said earlier, he hurt Roy Jones. Roy dealt with the knockdown by being just a little bit more cautious. Time, time, time. Fix this. And this is going to be a loose tape on the glove situation. So Jim Santa with a lot of situations to deal with tonight in a very active evening of referees. I kind of like the work that Santa does. I particularly like the way he apprises the fighters carefully as to how much time is left in each round. He's a good referee. There's been some good referees tonight. From the down the canvas. Well, Roy Jones talking is closing the show. 108 for the winner who is now the unified WBC, WBA light heavyweight champion of the world. And he is Roy Jones Jr. So it turns... in the Savary's corner described Al Bolden as the cut man. Referee Jim Santa took a look at Grant's protective cup as he came out of the corner for the second round and decided it was okay. Keep him up, okay? Watch your hand cup. Let's go, let's go. Savary's talking to referee Jim Santa about Grant's low blows for East with blood over the left eye. Now telling referee Jim Santa that he got hit by Grant's head. Savarese is talking so much to referee Jim Sata, he's not always paying attention to Grant while Grant pounds him to the body. Momentarily. Yes, he did. Oh, no. 
Low blow by Savory. Fuck you, fuck you guys. Hey, come here. Come here. Hey, come here, Michael. Come on. Come here. Both you guys. Let's go. Keep the undercut. You're both tall guys. Keep the punches up. Let's go. Both of you. <laughs> Inanimous decision. Oh, two low blows by yeah, Savory. That's a decision, correct. Yeah, Red complains. Come on. Let's go. Santa still hasn't taken a point from anybody, but he's warned both fighters repeatedly for the repeated low blows. Uh, nobody's really been hurt by those blows. No, don't hold them, I mean, and it's hard to even know where the low blows start and stop. Look at both of their protective cups are riding up toward their chest. No, I think, in fact, Santa has been doing a pretty good job with a thankless task here. Trying to make this fight look better than it is. How well can Michael Grant finish? Close to a minute left. And Savory takes a knee, as he did against Lance Whitaker. Time. Time. Now fix it right. Time. Fix it right. Let's and go. And again, the glove is untaped. And a chance for Savory right. to recover a bit. No, he took a knee. Right. right. Not a knee. No, they didn't rule that he took a knee. They rule that somehow he was, he was pushed down. Just tell when it's a knockdown, because they have a mandatory eight count. In other words, had referee Jim Santa called it a knockdown, he would have had, had to count to eight before they yep. resumed fighting. Since he didn't count to eight, he really ruled no knockdown. He ruled Michael Grant pushed him down, not knocked him down. How oh, exactly did he get dude, down to one knee? Man. Take a look. All right. Okay. Hey, guys. Great, just guys, looked like he went round. down from exhaustion. I don't know if he had any plan at all. He just, it was a slight push on the top here. Watch, you see right, right in here, they're wrestling. It doesn't look like a knockdown. Look, it looked like Savarese was looking for a place to fall. Does he Come look all right to you? Look all right to anybody. Right by boxing standards. All right by 10th round of a heavyweight fight at Madison Square Garden standards. You know, it's a different thing. No. Comes it up. Gets a warm hug from Grant for his trouble. But an easy win for the still undefeated Michael Grant. So it, it is the anticipated unanimous decision for Grant. And Jim Santa holds Grant's arm up next to trainer Don Turner. Finally.